What's up guys, welcome back to Geometry Dash. We are going to play some more user levels, hope you like it, and let's begin. Like before, we are going to start with a daily level, and this one is called Soul Seas. It's made by EpiEps, and it's only 5 stars, it's rated hard, so I think this is going to be a chill, relaxed little beginning. Oh, for this video... I like this song. I like it when songs and levels have this beginning. Like, not too crazy, it's not too flashy, and you aren't immediately confused. But you just immediately know this is gonna be cool, right? I mean, this is just gonna be a cool level. It's gonna be funky. It's gonna be fun to play so far. It seems pretty fun to play, nothing too frustrating. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I like the added instruments to the song. Come on, come on. I am expecting kinda a drop because this is sounding like a build up, a very long build up. Oh, what? Okay, wait, I was so confused. I have a demon key. All right. But that was a dash orb. But I kind of still survived even without the dash orb. I don't think the dash orb is actually uh, mandatory. But I'm just gonna use it next time just to be safe. It kind of seems very short though. Like we're already at 40% now. There's a dash orb. Okay, perfect. Now it's slower, of course. So this is gonna make the level seem a little bit longer. That was right. Good, good, good. Don't fall for any traps or don't just mess up the game play. There is a coin. That coin might even make the level easier because I'm not exactly sure what I was supposed to do. I did not forget I want to go for the coin because something tells me that that's actually gonna make it easier for me. Awesome, yeah, because you just have to jump, so it's no problem. That was just really dumb. It was obviously a slow UFO. I just press jump way too often. It's a very interesting level because if you die, it feels like you almost lose no progress because for some reason it goes so fast. So I can't like imagine getting frustrated on this level. It's just really fun to play and so satisfying to play too. 70%, come on. This might be a difficult ending now or like the part all the way to the ending. Wait, what? I was so confused because I obviously saw a gravity change on the top there. But I just completely skipped it? Did I do something wrong or was that just decoration? I have no clue. Alright, I finally understand how that part works. That's only like, if you fail this jump orb, you can still get saved. So just ignore that. That's actually kind of difficult, whoa. Okay, never mind. It wasn't actually that bad. Just if you actually look at the level design, if you look at the obstacles, you can do it pretty easily, but still, holy crap, that was a pretty cool level. Like, basically everything was super solid. And the next level I chose is another 5-star rated level. It is called Witty Antics. It's made by Mr. Cool Tricks, and it's a collab with Tickle. And we're just gonna go into it and see how this one goes. I did take a little look at it, and I just saw, like, one second, and I'm already like, what is this? The design, it's just so unique. And it's so weird to look at, but really nice to look at too. So I like that so far. Oh, now we're blue, okay. I kind of expected something like mechanical looking all the way through. But now it looks like we're in an ice area. And now it's just rainbow, okay. Holy crap! I love how it looks, it's kind of trippy. But I just love it. I'm just following like... The middle, I guess, and I'm surviving. And now it's crazy. Okay, go up, go down. The music is going crazy too, that was the main drop. There's a fox or something like that? What is this art? All the art and all the design. Okay, I'm blown away. Like, immediately, I'm not sure which attempt this is. This is like the third or the second. I think the third. And I'm already like, what the heck? Okay, now I need to concentrate because this, it's not too difficult. But if you don't concentrate, yeah, like that, you can still easily die. I was just supposed to press nothing. It's one of those typical moments where I just started to panic and I died. There we go. Just stay calm. I missed the slope and I freaking bat. Did you see the bat jumping up at me? That actually looked kind of cool. I'm kind of sad that I died there. I think that would have been an amazing part. Like you use the slope, fly up, and the bat tries to get you in midair and it's all crazy. Bam! Just like that. Okay, that was actually kind of awesome. Now we're in a dual part. Okay, that wasn't actually a problem. I just didn't see that white spike at the bottom. I gotta pay more attention. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm seeing even more. Is that the UFO? 
Isn't that the cat UFO? It's definitely the cat UFO! Oh no, I should have totally used the cat UFO for this level. That would have been amazing. But that's actually pretty cool. Okay. Ah, oh, this is awesome, dude! Look at all of this detail! What is even happening?! And that was actually a coin I was just supposed to hold down the jump button if I wanted to survive. I'll know that for next time, but yeah. The art and the design in this level sometimes, like, it's pretty much good all the time, but in certain parts, it's like, what the heck? When you see the ship, just hold down jump, remember that? There we go. Okay, actually, it was pretty obvious to hold down jump. And that was it! Tickle and cool tricks, there we go! I don't even know, dude. I don't know what this level was, but it was something amazing. It was something insane, and I loved it. The next level is rated harder. It is called Materialism, made by Milos, or me, Elos, and let's go. So I'm not sure if this is a spooky start, or just also relaxing. The colors were a little spooky, but now that we have some rainbow effects going on, I think it's more of a relaxing, maybe, art level. But still, okay, that was bad, I should have dropped down. Remember that it's rated 7 stars harder, if I saw that right. So, uh, this beginning is not gonna be the main level, of course. It's gonna be fast, I assume. It's gonna have some difficult platforming. But right now, I'm enjoying it. I like that little part where you have to drop down. Kinda tricked me for some reason. And <laughs> for some reason, I really like that. There is, like, not a coin. But like an unlock coin that might unlock another actual secret coin later on. Materialism! And this is the drop, I guess? I like the music, it's so unique! Like it's still fast, but still so relaxing and so simple. 60% though, so uh, this might be easier than I thought. The music sync also awesome. Dude, this is actually really cool. Oh, the music! It gets faster and faster. And okay, finally we died. 77%. This might be a lot easier than I thought. I mean, harder still isn't too bad. But this might even be easier than the hard levels from before. But I think a big reason is because this level doesn't have too many distracting flashy effects. This is all about, like, just enjoying the gameplay and some nice background effects just to accompany it. And we're already back. So this is going really well. I died last time here. What is this? Cube? Yeah, it's cube. Okay. Is this actually already the ending? If this is the ending, then I could have actually totally beaten this literally on my first attempt. So it's actually way easier than I expected. But I, like, I'm not gonna say that's bad because that was still a really awesome and really fun level. And we have a demon key. That's pretty cool. Dedicated to Skitten and Sinith. That was just super fun to play. Now we have a level which is called Luma. It is made by Darwin and it's a collab with the amazing Night Fury. Let's begin. The start looks very promising. I like the shiny effects. Like I always keep saying that I'm just such so easily impressed when it comes to shiny effects like that. Shiny blocks, blocks that look very polished and very full. That's one of my favorite things in level design. And is that a drop? Okay, I think that's like a really early drop. So it's gonna be a fast level. I love the flashing. I just have to say that I love the little light flashes during that part. Yeah, that is actually really well made. I like that. Okay, so drop down. Oh, the music sync. Awesome music sync. And again, dude, I love the music sync like that. Wait, wait, wait. There was something down there, but I skipped it. I'm not sure if that was a coin or something. That's just gravity switch normal ball. And ship. Okay, okay. Always focus on which portal you are going into. That's a UFO, right? What the heck? Okay, that was a gravity switch. I saw that like a second too late. It does kind of stop you from jumping to your death at the beginning, which I really appreciate. I love it if levels do that. And it's not like too, uh, too weird and sometimes it can actually kill you, even if you try your best. But something like that pretty much always just saves you and won't end up killing you accidentally. See that? Because I think like transitions can be the most frustrating thing in levels, and if a level does something like that, I just appreciate it so much more. But now we're back to like 70%, I think we died at 80%, so I need to really focus now. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot! Okay, good. Oh no, it's a spider! That could go wrong if I don't really try my best, but okay, I think I did it. Perfect! That was a nice ending, and that's it. Okay, the music sync in that level was awesome, Night Fury and Darwin, 
That was actually really fun. It was such a solid level too. Like we have a lot of just solid levels, I would like to call them. Which don't have like one part which steals the spotlight. Just the entire level feels so nice to play. Now we have an easier level. It is called Odachaka. It's made by Gengo. And it's an awesome collab with Xalfo, Crater Niji, Radaskino, and The Real Mick. I most likely butchered a lot of those names. And I'm sorry for that. But let's go. Unfortunately, this is one of those levels where I'm forced to use low detail mode. Hopefully it's not gonna make it too bad. I mean, like I said, it's not like a huge, huge negative. Because we still have all the pretty cool effects here. Was that like a wolf? It looked like some sort of picture like that. And now we're being carried by a block into darkness. Oh, I like it. I died. What? I do think it's a wolf or something because you even have like wolf sounds in the song. This is awesome. This is an awesome atmosphere that the level created. Do we just have to not- Oh, of course, I need to- uh, Ah, I need to hold it down. That's my bad. Okay, okay. 30%. Oh! Oh my god, I survived! Oh my god, this song is beautiful! I so want to listen to the song after the level, just like on my own. Oh my god, I don't think there's gonna be a drop either. I think this is just gonna be all the way. Just beauty. Really beautiful level. The hearts there. Aw, oh, the ghosts everywhere. I love it! Even when it gets fast, it's just for a transition, like nothing. Whoa! Okay, that was a little creepy, and I missed the special coin. And, but I still got the coin, interesting. Jump. I jumped, and I have to use it, but I survived. Wow! Oh, Dayaka! And we have a quest complete. Wow, dude, like, wow! I'm not even sure what I want to say, because I think the level speaks for itself. I don't think I have much to say. Just that level was a level, and a level that was cool. And let's finish up this episode with the last level called Glowing Star. It's made by Fakey. I think that's how you would pronounce it. It's dedicated to Aired Yuri, and let's go! So I do like the beginning, it's a ship beginning, and that little smiley mountain, or what it was. The music also starts... Oh, right, I, I died there when I tried it out, like, <laughs> the gravity switch trap always gets me. But yeah, the music starts so loud and cheerful already, so I'm expecting a pretty fast-paced, cheerful level. Oh, wait a minute! This is something else! The freaking music is awesome! Wait, does that kill me? Like the little water puddles, or like liquid puddles. Okay, so I can cruise over them, never mind, I don't have to always go up and down. Spider! What? Ah, I was supposed to go up, oh no. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, oh, coin, nice, okay, nice. Oh, what is that? Oh wow, I was like in the abyss for a second. Timing? What, what timing? I'm so scared. Please, okay, this is a little slower now. So I'm not too panicky anymore. Okay, it's a gravity switch. I'm so glad that was auto. Because if it wasn't auto, I can guarantee I would have died somewhere. Okay, up, up like that. Is this gonna be another drop? Or like, we didn't really have a drop, we had no build up. But this might actually be a, a drop. Oh! 55%, so we still have almost half to go. Glowing star, let's go. Good luck! Oh no, is it gonna be hard? Whoa, it's a boss fight! No, it's a cute, adorable boss fight! Or is it just decoration? We have three demon keys. That's quite a lot. But yeah, is that like a marshmallow? Okay, the ship should be easier, I think. But we are in cube? Hold! Oh, I didn't see that, darn it! I think there's a dash or probably inside the cube portal. There we go, keep going! No, there was a speed change! Darn you, you evil marshmallow! Jump! There we go, nice! I like the music sync! Whoa, crazy dude! Crazy mini wave! And then 86%, holy crap! Okay, but we're getting close to the end. Oh god, oh god, and we did it! No, no, no! Oh my god, what? What? <laughs> Oh, the 
the adorable smiley. Oh, was that the marshmallow? Is that like the marshmallow? That's interesting. Fakey. I hope that's still how you pronounce that name, but that was pretty awesome. And that ending was hardcore, fast, but still so much fun to play. And there we go. We had some really awesome levels in this episode. We had nice art, we had nice gameplay, and we had nice design. I mean, I usually will like these levels just because they're featured. There's so much effort put into them. I really enjoy it. But yeah, that was a really fun episode for me. I hope you guys liked it as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.